Hey folks, we are back on our doors and we're going to be taking a look at the whole process from taking on those horribly old, ghastly, gloss doors through to what you see in front of you now. Stick around right to the end and we're going to have a bit of a goodies giveaway. Now, for those of you who might not know, our house was hit very hard in the 50s and the 60s by all, all sorts of DIY trends and fads. And most of the original features in the house were either ripped out or clad in hardboard and glossed. All of that gloss has turned yellow and the whole place has been looking a little bit tired. We've made our way through the house, restoring what we can, uh, reinstalling what we can to make it tie in with the old period features of the house and now we're onto the doors. Now the doors, as you can see, were under there somewhere. And what we're doing now is stripping it right back as best we can in everywhere we need to before we get them repainted and rehung. This video is a bit of a summary of all those stages. We filmed some episodes back in May and we put those out already. But this is hopefully going to show you the whole process and what's been involved right from taking them off the hinges through to getting them rehung with all the new hardware. Now I know what you're thinking, you're looking at this thinking there must be an easier way and you're probably right but there are a few little things to be wary of. You could sand everything back to the wood and with a good enough sander and working through the grits that is an option but of course old paint often contain lead and this is almost certainly the case here. So it makes more uh, health and safety sense to be taking it off with a heat gun, it peels off remains whole and as long as you're in a well vented space then you can just sweep that up at the end. We did that and we took it down where needed and then we could sand over the, the bare wood to just prime it and get it ready for painting. The other option is to get the whole door dipped. When you get them chemically stripped in a tank they're normally submerged in the solution and what can happen then is when they're cleaned off and then they dry out joints can loosen, trim can fall off and I've heard too many horror stories there and although the time saving and it's still pretty cost effective to get it done, it's not always the best way. If you can group all your doors together, put some, some music or a podcast on and just get on with it, it doesn't take too long to get them all prepped. So when it came to painting, plenty of options here. As always, there's lots of ways to do things. And in this situation, we'd taken it back to pretty much bare wood in most places. So it made sense to start fresh. In which case we used an acrylic primer here, super fast drying. We could get all of these doors kind of prepped, undercoated and painted in two or three days. I'm spraying it on. It's a really efficient way to go. Again, you can hit every corner, every surface all in one hit by concertinaing them across the room with a baton on top. If you are using paint over an existing finish, perhaps they don't need to be stripped all the way back, then I love the linseed paints. They're a traditional oil-based um, finish and really it's a very traditional way to go. A great look. The only thing is the dry time. So it's always a bit of a payoff whichever way you go and in this instance we've, we've decided to take it back to the bare wood and start from fresh. Of course there are a few repairs to do along the way. Most of the time I decided to blank them off and then I could just re-chop in new hardware and all I've done is just cut some thin strips of wood, got them fitted in, filled, sanded and they're pretty much blanked off then. Now we're on to the painting, the top coats. We had two coats of undercoat, two, to two coats of top coat. This is the Dulux Trade Diamond Eggshell. Not cheap, but it goes a long way and we've had it mixed to the color we wanted. Again, I'm going on straight on with the sprayer. This is the Airless Graco sprayer. Use it for loads of jobs and it's a really, really great finish.
the only slight difference on this project is I didn't want a perfect finish. So on my top coat here, I've decided to go in with a nice high quality sash brush and I, after sanding back that first coat, I'm then applying the, the final coat by brush. What that'll do is just give a much more sort of period hand finished look to it and not gonna give that, you know, that really, really flat, flawless sprayed finish. Also with kids in the house, it's much easier to touch up a brush finish than it is to come in with a sprayer just for touch ups. Right, door four or five, it's going okay so far. What I've done is gone one size bigger on the hinges. They're the same width, but just slightly taller. That just means I can kind of get a clean new fixing onto the door. This door's upside down. So it's one of my least favorite jobs, hanging doors and locks, but once you've done one, you're kind of getting the, in the mix of it. It's all by hand because I'm not there's no point in making up a jig or using the router or anything like that because one, there'd be loads of mess. Two, I really need to do it in place and it's just nibbling away little bits to add to the old fixings, if that makes sense, where the old fixings were. Now the old hinges were quite a bit thicker. Actually, these ones weren't too bad. These ones were about the same. But the actual leaves of the hinges on some of them were maybe three, three and a half mil thick. Whereas these modern ones are about two, two and a half. So in a couple of them, I've just taken some shims cut on the bandsaw to pack out the hinges. One screw in each. They're not actually that heavy, these doors anymore, especially now we're taking all that hardboard off and about a kilo of paint. It. with all the doors we've got five in total they've come out really nice they've been about two or three months now and apart from um, a few little bits where old hardware and new hardware didn't quite match up and um, there's a few holes that we had to fill afterwards but all in all great gone brass uh, on the gray which we really like the gray is RAL 7044 which is we've used all sorts of places around the house and the only thing to mention on hardware of course we've just gone for polished brass hinges and they're lacquered so they'll stay shiny but for the actual doorknobs we've been using these from Wells Reclamation we've been using them for years on different projects and these um, start off super shiny but after a couple of weeks they start kind of getting a nice patina on there and you just don't get that if you get the really shiny lacquered stuff and I think they really suit it we could go for the finger plates as well um, but you know we left it as that. The kids are kicking off and it's all going on here but hopefully it was good to see that whole process from start to finish. There are loads of ways of doing these sort of projects. You can dip the doors, get them chemically stripped in a tank. There are problems there. You hear about people finding the joins come loose and the trim and molding comes off. I think the the extra bit of care that it takes to get them stripped by hand and sanded work great here. Now I promised a bit of a giveaway Isotunes, who you may know, have given us an affiliate link for the past um, 
six months to a year or so, you can, you've always been able to go there and get a discount. Now, at the moment, they've got a special offer and they asked me to pass it on. Basically, if you order anything in the next week, any of their Bluetooth headsets, uh, ear defenders, then you can pick up a free set at the same time. All you need to do is add them into the cart. So it's the Isotune Pro, which is the first ones I ever bought. You basically need to add them into your cart with whatever other set you're buying and you will get them free. It just needs to be on the UK website and I think the German website as well. We will put our code down below and the link. But they're great, You, as you know, um, I've been using them for a few years now and got all shapes and sizes. However, because I've already got a set of these, I figured we'd just give them away. I'm gonna give them away with one of our mugs and Joe will get that all sorted and we're gonna put it on our Instagram page at the same time as this video going live. So if you wanna be in with a chance of winning these, then head over there and we'll sort it out. Thank you to all these folks over here on Patreon who constantly support us and uh, support the channel. Get a little bit of bonus content in return and, uh, and all that good stuff and also, Check out one of these videos which will show you a little bit more in depth on the door restoration. But that's it, thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.